honor, courage, and strength of character. These qualities are embodied by the recipients of the Medal of Honor. Now let's recognize this week's Medal of Honor recipient on O'Neill Outside. Thomas Jean Atkins, Private First Class, World War II U.S. Army, Philippine Islands, 1945. With two companions, he occupied a position on the ridge outside the perimeter defense established by the 1st Platoon. At 300 hours, two companies of Japanese attacked with rifle and machine gun fire, grenades and TNT charges, severely wounding Atkins and killing his two companions. Despite the intense fire and pain for his wound, he held his ground and returned the fire. After the attack was repulsed, he remained in his position to repel further assaults. An enemy machine gun vainly attempted to drive him off. The Japanese repeatedly made fierce attacks, but for four hours Atkins remained in his foxhole, bearing the brunt of each assault and maintaining steady and accurate fire. At 7 a.m., 13 enemy lay dead in front of his position. He had fired 400 rounds. All he and his two dead companions possessed and had used all three rifles until they all three jammed. He withdrew during a lull to secure a rifle and more ammunition, but was persuaded to stay for medical treatment. While waiting, he saw a Japanese within the perimeter and, seizing a nearby rifle, killed him. A few minutes later, while lying on a litter on the ground, he saw an enemy group moving up behind the platoon's lines, and despite his severe wounds, he sat up, delivered a heavy rifle fire against the group, and forced them to withdraw. Private Atkins' superb bravery and his fearless determination to hold his position against the main force of repeated enemy attacks, even though painfully wounded, were major factors in enabling his comrades to maintain their lines against a numerically superior force. PFC Gene Atkins lived in South Carolina, and he passed away in 19. 99. And that is a privilege for me and for you to take a moment and honor the Medal of Honor recipients on this program every Saturday morning. And we got that way, and I'm not going to tell you that story again, but I hope you enjoy those and you can visit the Medal of Honor website. The stories are touching and memorable and interesting and you can be grateful in so many cases for the sacrifice that these men and women, medical personnel and all those pilots and Navy, submarine, you name it. You can read about all about them on the website at the Medal of Honor.